What's going on, fellas? Gabrielle Union says she felt entitled to cheat because she paid all the bills. We are going to unpack that. I'm about to break this game all the way down. But first, fellas, before we get into that, I need you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can get this good old ism fresh off the press. Yes, I'm back. I'm back, baby. I mean, I ain't went nowhere, but, you know, I haven't been making videos like this. You know, all my videos usually come from my podcast, you know, but... This is something that I had to touch on, and I'm going to touch on more stuff like this, things that happen in the news and break it down, not in a gossipy way because y'all know I don't like gossip, right? <clears throat> y'all know I don't like gossip, but there are things that happen in the news a lot that I need to break down and give you the game so you can learn from, right? But first, before we get into the game, I need you guys to go join the Players Club, the Players Club, the Players Club at theplayersclub.vip. That's the playersclub.vip. That's my private, exclusive men's community. You get coaching calls twice a month. You get direct access to me. You get in-depth videos. You get uh, text threads. Uh, how to, you know, just basic access to me. I'm not answering my DMs on, on Instagram and Facebook anymore because I have to tend to my the, the, the group. You know what I'm saying? It's a private men's community of, of guys, you know, chopping up game, guys from all walks of life just coming together, chopping up game. We meet twice a month. We share game. You can ask me any question you need. You can DM me privately there. You get discounts on courses. You get discounts on one-on-one -on -one coaches. So go join the Players Club at theplayersclub.vip. That's theplayersclub.vip. Now let's jump straight into this, man. Gabrielle Union said that she felt entitled to cheat in her first marriage. She was cheating on her first husband because she was the one paying all the bills. She basically said, not basically, she said that that's the spoils of riches. Is having your way and and, and and cheating, basically, right? Um, I'm not going to come for her, and I, I hope you guys didn't send me this to come for them or come for, quote, unquote, modern women, because this ain't a modern woman thing. What you guys don't realize is women have always felt like that. She just got the balls to say it in public, but women have always felt like that. You understand what I'm saying? That ain't nothing new. They just not saying it. Most women feel like that. They feel like if they have to take care of a man, then that's basically not their man. They just that's just the child. And this guy's basically just a placeholder or a level of comfort or somebody to meet emotional needs but not sexual needs, right? You have to understand that this is the way women look at it. They're not going to say it. They're not going to admit it in public, but this is the way that they look at it. And if you don't understand this, you are going to be lost in the st in the sauce, right? Most women throughout my life, most women who cheated with me, who was cheating on their boyfriends, who was cheating on their husbands, you know, who was cheating and they cheated with me, whether it's married, you know, boyfriend or whatever, most of them were paying all of the bills or they were splitting the bills. Most of them. I'm going to give you a, good, a quick story time. I'm not going to be too, because y'all know I can go on for a long time, but I was dealing with this, this married woman. This was when, when I was in my mid-20s. I don't deal with married women anymore. That's a dangerous game. Do not try that at home. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Very dangerous. These dudes will kill you over their women. I was dealing with this married woman, right? And on the outside, good girl. You look at her on Facebook and, and all this shit. This like the perfect model couple. Like, you know, they was high school sweethearts the whole nine. Um... You know, she was his first body. She she was, he was her first body. Like, she lost her virginity to him. Then she, woman had a very low, low body count. So I was probably 25 when I met her. She was 30. I think she was 30. Um, and the guy at the time was probably like 32 or something like that. But the, their whole relationship, they had been together since high school. Their whole relationship, <coughs> he was taking care of her. He was doing this business. He was had a, I'm not going to say what type of business, but he had his business, legitimate business. And he was basically, you know, she had her thing too. She had her job too, whatever. But he was the one that was carrying the family. He was, and they got kids together and everything. He was carrying the family. He was paying all the bills. He was doing the man shit. Well, the 2008 recession hit and my man fell off his horse and he didn't get back up right away. So he was down off his horse. His business crumbled. All of this shit had crumbled or whatever. And he was just in a low space, and she had to take over everything. And this went on for a couple of years. Well, in the midst of this, I met this woman. You see what I'm saying? And she and she told me why she was cheating on him. 
She just don't feel like he is a, he a, he a man. She just don't feel like, um, you know, he's not handling this business. He's not doing things correctly. And it was all because of he was in a low space because he, she was taking care of the bills. <clears throat> and, you know, when, you in a, when a man is in a situation like that, insecurity come out and all type of shit. But anyway, she ended up cheating on this man because she, and she felt entitled to because she was the one that was carrying the family. So she felt like she could do whatever she wanted to do. And when she explained this to me, I felt so bad for, for, for this guy. Like, I felt horrible for this dude. You see what I'm saying? And me and her didn't deal with each other for too much longer after that, after she, like, explained everything to me. I just felt like like sh she was a dirtbag for that. But what I'm, I'm saying that to say that that is how women feel. The majority of them feel like that. I'm not saying that if you see a situation where a woman is taking care of her dude for a period of time or whatever, that she's going to be cheating on him. I'm not saying that. But in a large majority of the cases, if a woman is splitting bills or if she's taking care of the man and, and the man that she got to pay all the bills, she look at the man like a child. You see what I'm saying? And in those cases, a large majority of the cases, those women are cheating because they don't get that feeling. They don't get that feminine feeling that comes with a masculine man who's handling business. And they need to feel that. That's a need that women have. That's a need that you need to meet when you deal with women. And I want you guys to understand something. Women need to date up in order to feel complete. I'm going to say that again. Women need to date up in order, for, um, in order to feel complete, right? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know any person, any man that's in a relationship who his girl is paying all the bills or it's this 50-50 partnership type of thing. I don't know any man in that situation who's truly happy and truly feeling like the man that he should feel. Yeah, they settle, they go along to get along, but it's just an average, mundane, dull life. Every man that I know that's in a situation like that, they're not getting their needs met. You see what I'm saying? And I'm, I, I, I've been in that situation. I was in a relationship for 10, 12 years. The majority of the relationship, a, a, a large majority of the relationship like the beginning of the relationship, I was broke. I was getting out of prison. We was basically struggling together. Then I got my bread up, and so I started taking care of everything. You see what I'm saying? I started taking care of everything like a man should do, right, for damn near a, lot, a, a long time. But when I left the streets, I tried to put my money into, in, into businesses and shit like that, and it all crumbled, and I ended up being broke. And my woman at the time had to carry the bills. I'm not saying she was cheating on me or nothing, but it was completely different. You see what I'm saying? And then when I did get jobs, we had to split bills and shit like that. I didn't get the same level of submissiveness. I didn't get the same level of cooperation as when, you know, she was staying at home with the kids and shit like that. Now she got to go to work all day and shit like that. It's just a different level of, you know, it's a different level. It's a different level of playing field. And if you're a man and you're in that situation, she does not have it in her to give you everything that you need because all the things that you need, she's giving it to her boss. She's giving it to her fucking job. You see what I'm saying? You, I'm not saying that you can't survive or you can't have a long relationship or a healthy relationship like that. But as a man, you are going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice your needs. If you want to be one of these dudes who's splitting bills with women and having your woman work all day, you're going to have to sacrifice your needs. You see what I'm saying? Because she don't have it to give to you because her energy is going to a career or her energy is going to a job instead of in the household where it needs to go. You have to understand that. Any guy that I know, again, any guy that I know who's in a situation like that, any guy who's in a, that I know that's in a situation like that, they are not truly happy. They don't feel masculine. They damn near getting emasculated and shit. Them partner, the 50-50 partnership things, when you're in a situation like that, you don't really get the respect as a man. You get the respect as a human being. That's not to say that your woman is going to be disrespecting you, but you don't get that respect as a man. That a woman, when she look at you, she get this masculine man feel, and she get wet and tingly and shit like that. You're not going to get that on no 50-50 partnership shit unless your game is super, super, super strong, and most of you guys ain't like that. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to get the respect as a man or the provider. You see what I'm saying? Because, again, Women need to date up. You understand what I'm saying? When, again, when your woman work, I want you guys to teach all you guys that want to split the bills and all this shit. When your woman has, it's just not, you have to think, think, right? Your woman is a human being. Your woman is a human being. 
So I want you to think about this. She only has a certain amount of energy, like we all do. And if that energy is spent eight to ten, I mean eight to ten hours a day working, and she's getting the best of her, she got to go to work and be submissive and nice and smile and be, uh, f- uh, you know, all of these things in order to go alone and get alone and cold switch. It's cold switching shit. It's draining. She's not going to want to come home and suck dick. She's not going to want to come home and throw it all on you because she don't have energy. She gave that energy to her career or her job. So what I, my advice to you guys and my the solution to this is don't, when a woman, you dating women and they talk about this 50-50 partnership shit, see, they don't understand. And when they do understand, they do, they'll know that they can get their needs met if you don't meet them. But what I want you to do is be the leader and the ruler of your life. And you have to understand that when women come like this, they not in understanding. It's not your job to try to change them. You need to find women who are willing to get on your program and, and, and put all of her effort, her energy and her effort into the family, into the household, into growing it and not helping some man further his career or help, I mean, helping some man further his empire, contributing to another man's empire. She's supposed to be contributing to your empire. She's submissive to her boss. Her boss is her daddy. You see what I'm saying? You not. You just a partner, but she's submissive to her goddamn boss. You need to understand that. So in or, in, in, in the way that you kill that is do not get in a relationship. Do not get into a relationship unless you are able to take care of a family. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're going to get this 50-50 thing. Wait until you can provide for yourself. You can provide for a woman, and you can provide for a family. Get your money up. Get your bread up. You don't have to make a million dollars a year. You don't have to make a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a year. You can live an average life if that's what you want to be. But you need to be able to at least take care of the bills and foot the and and, and and lead the household in that way on a financial level and take care of the bills and take care of the manly things. If you can't do that, don't get in a relationship because it's not going to be easy. You're not going to be able to get your needs met because they don't have it in them to meet your needs because the energy is going elsewhere. But anyway, I said that to say. I said all that to say that most women feel like that. They just not going to say it. You know what I'm saying? And again, this ain't to drag Gabriel Union down. All I, I know she's a, uh, to me, she's a, she a trip and I, and she's embarrassed. If I was Dwayne Wade, I'd be embarrassed, but you know, it, it don't seem like he got a spine or nuts. It seemed like she pegged him, but who am I? Right. But anyway, fellas, most women feel like this. They just not going to say it. Um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. It's your gracious, gracious game advice of yours truly, King Dre. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, leave down in the comments anything that you want to see. If you guys have any more news or things you want me to break down, send it to my um, my DM on IG, King Dreism. Go join the Players Club right now, the playersclub.vip. It's your gracious, gracious game advisor of yours truly, King Dre. I'm gone.